What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in Spain. I told you a couple videos ago that I'm coming here. I finally arrived. I'm actually on my third day currently, the morning on my third day. The last two days have just been so hectic. I've been so tired. So I haven't really had the energy to film anything. So the third day, I'm gonna be doing that today. I'm in Spain. I'm in the city of Madrid. Woo! I'm not actually in a city centre though, so I'm going to be doing another video when I go to the city centre. But right now I'm like a small town about 45 minutes away. And I'm going to just chill out today. Third day, I'm going to chill, film some little bits, like kind of explore this little town because I've not really done much of that yet. Relax. I'm in Spain. It's currently like 36 degrees. I'm so hot. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just, I'm from the UK. I'm not used to good weather. But I'm in my hotel currently. Absolutely loving life. Quick little hotel tour. Literally just my bed, my TV, and then a bathroom right here yeah. nothing too crazy but it does the job didn't need anything too well because i came here by myself but it's really nice it's really nice and if i look outside the window i'm just in like a small town right in the middle of this little town it's really nice actually i'm gonna explore a little bit and show you guys more of it and yeah if you didn't know i actually came here by myself this is the first time i've ever traveled by myself so it's quite scary i'm not gonna lie it was definitely a weird experience going to the airport just doing it all by myself i've never done it before and it was probably outside my comfort zone which i like getting outside my comfort zone but this was a challenge in itself i'm happy I've done it. I would try some of the food, but to be honest, I'm on day three and I don't think I've eaten a proper meal. Like since Monday when I traveled Tuesday, now it's Wednesday morning. I'm just not hungry. I think I've got like homesickness a little bit, but yeah, I haven't eaten a proper meal for like three days. It's on the, my third day and I've eaten just like little bits and biscuits, crisps, and I try, I try and get like some protein bars for energy, but I just can't eat right now. It's so annoying. My phone is like really lopsided. Let me, let me, let me sort that out. It's actually really annoying. I don't know why. I think it's some sort of like homesickness a little bit. People say you get that when you travel and especially like being right outside my comfort zone. The culture is so much different. Life's so much different. I'm by myself. It's just, it is a bit strange, but I definitely need to eat something, but I just can't. I just live off, I live off biscuits. I live off sweets. And even that's a struggle to eat. I just drink water and that's literally it. And in a result of that, I have no energy. <laughs> the last two days I've had absolutely no energy and it's just, it's horrible. So let me know in the comments if any of you relate to that. I'm sure people do out there. Just chilling out at some park right now. About 20 minutes away from my hotel, but it's so hot. It's like 35 degrees at one o'clock in a day what's that what's happening there then it's a classic british person it really is complaining about the weather we complain in the uk when the weather's always bad when it's nice you're in the land of spain you can't beat it you still complain i haven't really got too much planned for today like the next tomorrow i have i'm going to madrid tomorrow the city center and then the rest of the week i've sort of got some like decent stuff planned but today's sort of like a chilled one in the little town i'm staying in near my hotel and just find out what's around it really i haven't really explored too much so we'll explore it all so like this little part right now it's a nice little view i'm staying in a little town in madrid called val de moro there's two little sections to it there's the town which is back there which i'll show you a little later on then kind of like the houses where everyone stays i guess it's a sort of nice view that i'll show you now but there's two sort of sections to it. Right now I'm in like, I guess the accommodation sort of area where everyone stays, where all like the neighborhoods and stuff are. But this is the view we're working with right now. Not a bad view to be fair. The town's back that way. You can't really see it from here. I'm at this little park. I'm gonna go that way, go to the end of the town that way, and then go back on myself where all the good stuff is. You have like the football pitches, the town. I'm just gonna explore it. I've got nothing else to do today. So I thought, why not? I've been here a day already. So I sort of explore some little bits. Like I've already gone to the end of the park there. These crossroads are cool as well. The UK need them. Like it's obviously the crossroads, but when you walk through, the pedestrians have right of way i'm not used to that in the uk they have those little pathway things there that you have the right of way every time still getting used to my surroundings i still kind of have no idea where i'm going i went the wrong way so i've got to go back on myself right ends it down here nope i have no idea where i am currently all right this is what i mean there's another crossing here this one looks symmetrical to the other one. Is it the one? Yes. First couple things in this area that I've noticed is like a nice looking church I want to go check out. It looks interesting. It's one of the only things I've actually seen so far. I'm either unfit or just not used to the weather. Probably both, but I need to sit down real quick. Oh my days. I need to, what is happening to me? Ah, in a nice little neighborhood everything looks so symmetrical here but the way of life as well is um it's kind of crazy because in the uk i feel like it's so much it's so hectic and stressful life like the uk realistically isn't that good here everything's so relaxed and everything just starts later on in the day like it's it's 1 30 in the afternoon right now and it's still dead there's no one out so just getting used to the lifestyle a little bit is it's unique in itself but i absolutely love it to be fair how relaxed it is it is fucking amazing and obviously the heat the swimming pools mwah. Beautiful. There it is, some bougie ass looking church. The sun's gone in. It's still about 36 degrees, but the sun's gone in. On some nice looking street right now, but look, top of that church, bang, bougie. Why can't churches be like this in the UK? Actually, I, I don't know. Which one's better, the UK ones or these ones? So that's pretty much it for this side of the town. I'm walking back now, just to town really. I'm only here for one more day, then I go to the Madrid city center, which I can't wait. 
I'm there for two days. It's gonna be so good. It's a nice little change, seeing the small towns of Spain, seeing a different culture, but it's quite boring. I've been here a fair few days already. And there's nothing to do. I loved it when I went around London, so I'm gonna love it going around Madrid. Hang on a minute, what have I stumbled upon across the floor? What's this then? Some woman pushing a box. We got a present. I have no idea. If anyone can speak Spanish, what the hell does that say? Anyway, let's carry on my adventure. It's like really weird the weather now. It's really humid because the sun's gone in. Like I said, these things they're needed in the UK. It goes from one extreme to another here, because like I said, some houses, the streets are just all symmetrical, the same houses, exact same look. Then you go down streets like this, got a nice yellow one with some stones going on. A nice, like, it looks like Minecraft a little bit. This stuff reminds me of Minecraft. What's going on? They do love a yellow out here, though, don't they? Got like a yellow there, more tints of yellow. Look at all this, more cool stuff. Uh, it's, it's getting boring, I know. How much are we gonna bet this water is warm? Oh, it's actually cold. Oh, my days are so nice. I haven't felt cold water in about four days because all I drink is warm water, sometimes cold, but my fridge is terrible in my hotel. And when you take it out in a 35 degree heat, it lasts about five minutes, so that's not very good. Trust me to come to Spain a day after they beat us in the European Championship. Great timing as well. The timing is impeccable. I absolutely love it. Everyone's been cool about it because I just say no Espanol and don't just walk. I need a drink, I want a smoothie or something. There's a, there's a cafe here, Let's see if it has it. So they had none of my drinks in there, none of them spoke English, so I sort of went without my drink. Randomly, something cool actually happened. Yesterday, I was playing football and I met some guy. Doesn't speak a word of English, he's Spanish, obviously. Either way, it's the complete other side of town. It's a busy town, thousands of people. Whoa, where's the light gone? Hello? We're back. It's rare chance of seeing him, but we found the guys and we go play football in one hour. It's a busy old day. I want to get a somewhat early night to go to Madrid tomorrow. Only problem is I literally only have Air Forces or Yeezys I've been wearing. None of them are really football material, but I'm gonna go with the Yeezys because I do not want to ruin these like kind of new Air Forces. <laughs> So it's the next day, a bit random. I didn't film much last night. I played a bit of football, it was good fun. And then pretty much went to bed, so there wasn't much to really film. But it's the next day, as you just saw by those transitions, I am now in the city center of Madrid. I just arrived at my new hotel. I'm in the city center for the next day and a half. And I'm gonna film some cool videos. There's a lot to explore. This city's huge, there's so much to see, so I can't wait. And stay tuned for the next videos coming out of me in the city of Madrid. It's gonna be good. See you guys next time.